Hola, how is everyone? I hope good. I'm Sunny with Healing Power of Divine Universe, and I am here with messages from the universe and your deceased loved ones. I have three messages from the universe, and the rest are messages from your deceased loved ones, what they want you to know, what you need to know, um, what advice they're giving you. I'm sorry I'm messing with my camera, but I am trying to bring it down. There we go. That's better. Um, so before I get started, I ask if you please hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification so you're notified when I upload more videos, hit that like button and share this video if you think others can benefit from my messages. Otherwise, let's get started. So the first card I pulled is a message from the universe. You'll find what you seek. If you've ever suddenly found and been loved by someone amazing, awesome, fun, and fantastic, chances are you will again. If you haven't yet found such a person, chances are you will. It's up to you, the universe. We have silence in reverse. There is a sweet embrace in the nothingness, stillness brings, and presence of self, fully embodied. This is out of my Seasons of the Witch Oracle deck. Let me find it. This is a call to find your presence and to be aware of the present moment. This means getting back into your body, allowing yourself to feel. Be aware of your surroundings and take in all the things you often overlook in the hustle and bustle of the day today. <clears throat> Excuse me. Fill your emotional grid. Allow whatever feelings are present with you to be heard. It can be anger, happiness, fear, excitement, and a million combinations of emotions. Not all emotions are comfortable, but they are there to guide you. We have retirement. So somebody here is probably going to go into retirement, retire from a career, retire from you know a job that they've been working at a long time. Maybe you're going to receive money that is going to be able to help you retire. Maybe you're young and you're going to be able to retire because you're receiving an inheritance or money that is owed to you is what I'm hearing. So I feel that your, uh, your native, or I was going to say your native spirits, sorry. And it could be your native spirits, definitely, um, are wanting you to know that, you know, just keep working the way that you are, keep saving and just really have, you know, the faith and belief in the higher power from up above. Maybe you are wanting to retire. Maybe you're wanting to travel. Maybe you have worked a very long time and it's time for you to retire. Maybe you're kind of running away from retirement because you're afraid of what you might uh, not have. Maybe it'll be the money. Maybe you're running from it because you're afraid that you won't have anything better to do when you're retired. And that's just complete bullshit because, you know, there's a whole nother life to live. If you are in the retirement phase, you know, go uh, travel. Enjoy the beauty of the world. Spend lots of time in nature. Work in your yard. You know, there's tons of things that we can do when we retire. So don't be afraid of that retirement. The next card I pulled is the Warrior of Heart. This is from my Native Spirits uh, Oracle deck. Your Native Spirits want you to know the greatest Native warriors weren't the ones who wounded the most people. They were those remarkable beings who had such personal power that enemies laid down their weapons rather than fight. There are times in life to step back and even times to walk away. But there are also times to stand up for yourself and those less advantaged. Don't allow yourself to be limited by your belief system. Courage doesn't mean that you aren't afraid. Fearless means just that, fearless. Acknowledge that, you've, that you're frightened and take action anyway. Face your anxiety and go beyond the boundaries of limited perceptions of yourself. Through your example, people find and act on their truth. There's a light bearer for others. The journey. List everything that you are afraid of. Then next to that list, write every reason why it's important to overcome that fear. In other words, what does that fear cost you? Then make a list of the various ways that you can overcome that fear. Dear you, there is only one 
you, and you have a unique place in the universe. <clears throat> Sometimes situations come up that challenge you to be authentic, and that means you have to fully that means that you have to be fully yourself and let go of being what you think others may want. Now is not the time to com to conform, excuse me, to other people's standards or expectations. Be proud of who you are and be courageous. Stand tall in your convictions. Being yourself is a powerful statement and will only lead you to success and ultimately happiness. Don't compare yourself to other people. Want what you have. Choose what your heart wants and know that your purpose is yours alone. No one else can claim your magic nor take it away. When you place authenticity, if I could say it, and originality high on your list of priorities and give them a place in your awareness, extraordinary things happen. Your life is a beautiful one. Love you always and forever. Going beyond, you must go through the darkest night in order to get to the infinite light. What we call darkness is really blockage of the light. So go beyond, going beyond. Don't be afraid of that dark, go straight towards it. Fire guardian, ignite your passion. So you're, you're really needing to step into this fire guardian position. And you really need to ignite the passion that you have towards something, towards someone, you know, towards life, towards yourself, towards, you know, um, embracing the world the way that it is, letting the world embrace you the way that you are, but really light that flame under your ass and, you know, move forward. You have a lot to offer this world, and I think that you're kind of holding yourself back. The miser in reverse. So I feel that you've had this miser in your life a long time. This is somebody that all they give a shit is about all their jewels, all their money. They don't care about anything else except their finances. Um, you know, meeting up with the Joneses, looking up, you know, people, seeing them on the block and saying, oh my gosh, I wish I was them. I, they have the biggest house. They have the nicest cars, the nicest clothes. Their family is so perfect. With this miser being in reverse, this miser has been taken out of your life. In any form that you want to say, if it was death, if it was, um, you know, this person went to jail, this person you just cut out of your life because you were sick of their fucking bullshit, whatever it is, this miser is gone. So you do not have to penny pinch anymore. You do not have to worry about this person coming in and stealing what is yours. This person is caught. This person is outed. The truth of this person is out. People see this person for who they truly are, and it took a long time for them to do that. Give yourself time. Be kind to yourself and heal in your own way. So if you are going through any type of experience that you're needing to heal, know that we all heal in our own ways. You know, we all take more time or we take less time. You know, it's just how we heal. Don't listen to other people like, well, you just need to buck up and get over what you're going through and so on. You know what? Those, those people aren't you. They don't know how you feel. They don't know your experience to the fullest. They didn't live it. Um, just, you know, give yourself time and be very kind to yourself. Give yourself unconditional love. Do nice things for yourself. Allow yourself to cry if you need to cry. Allow yourself to, you know, spoil yourself if you need to be spoiled. Whatever it takes to help you heal. And like I said, only you know how to heal yourself. Nobody else is there to to um, push along your healing in any type of situation. We have, we will be together again. Because our souls are intertwined by shared missions and unfinished business, we are destined to be together. For now, I will be with you in my non-physical form, functioning as a guide and a loving companion. While I can't give the guidance that God or an angel would, I can lend my support and strength to help and protect you. Once your life is complete, we will reunite in the spirit form when I'll remind you of the ways of the wondrous non-physical world. I can tell you now that there's nothing to fear about dying, and yet you must live your life completely in order to fulfill your mission. When the time is right, you and I will have other physical lives together, ones that are 
perfectly orchestrated to help others and to create spiritual growth for both of us. <clears throat> Excuse me. We have Mars action, desire, impulse, courage, force, heat, strength, competition, workouts, excitement, thirst, impatience, anger, leadership, engine, potency, willpower, motor, sex drive. This is a sign of Aries and Scorpio. So Aries and Scorpio are strong for your deceased loved ones or towards you. You could be an Aries and Scorpio and it's saying that this reading is for you. We have um, second house assets, material world, possessions, finance, talent, value, solitude, worthiness, wardrobe, luxury, credit score, security. This is a sign of Taurus. There's a deeper reason for each of your questions. Seek it. Guidance, attention, help, maybe love always. Criticism, never. The question was, what to give others, if anything at all? Isn't it fun being you, the universe? Coming of winter. It comes in lullabies deep within your mirrored flesh. Allies, it is time to lay your quivering chest upon the winter's coming. I love this deck so much. The, the meanings of these cards are so fucking powerful. It's just beautiful. The outside world can seem such a cold and distant place. It can be tough to navigate the tra trail buried beneath the snow. It is hard to feed your soul when your surroundings offer little nourishment. In the dead of winter, life can be beautiful, still peaceful, blistering, cold, unforgiving, changeable. There is but one thing to do when the winter storms come blowing. Seek shelter to rest, recharge, and reflect. We must all take refuge within ourselves from time to time. Our souls need the energy of winter to slow us down so that we converse our strength from when we need it. A harsh lesson, but learning to face the winters of our lives prepares us for facing the future. Take the time to reflect on your choices and the consequences they reveal. Look for ways to evaluate the path you've walked. Learn from your mistakes and celebrate your triumphs without harsh judgment. When the winter winds blow into your spread, it is time for self-reflection. Failure to learn from your experiences often causes the repeat of mistakes. It's time to review the choices you've made without the options of others. Oh, excuse me, without the opinions of others. What choices made your heart happy? What choices left you numb or lacking in inspiration? What is holding you back and what resources could you use more of? Use the answers to questions like these to get a better understanding of what truly makes you happy and to form a plan to start shifting your life towards the image of your choosing. This card comes with a message to rest. The world will wait for you. Give your mind, body, and soul time to be still. Taking time to recharge is not laziness. It is a choice of supporting yourself. You'll have more strength, energy, and focus to devote time to the things you love when you are rested. <coughs> we have courage. So definitely you have been very courageous. Your, your your deceased loved ones and the universe want you to know that they really congratulate you. They really do see how courageous you've been in whatever situation you've been going through. You have really transformed to this beautiful, gorgeous butterfly. You have embraced change. You have embraced heartache. You have embraced anything and everything that has been put in your way. And it didn't make you fearful. It didn't make you run. It made you more courageous. It gave you the courage to keep moving forward. And that's a beautiful way for each and every one of us to deal with the, the challenges and obstacles that we have to face during life so we can grow into the people that we are becoming. We have Peace Pipe. Your native spirits want you to know, in native traditions, sharing a peace pipe filled with sacred tobacco and herbs was a way of finding common ground and dropping discord. It was a 
a respite, respite, I think is how you say that, in order to calmly assess a situation and find a peaceful resolution. There are times to drop everything and leave. There are also times to be carefully mend bridges with people, situations, and places. This is one of those healing times. Maybe there is a wound inside you that needs to be forgiven or accepted. Maybe you need to forgive yourself or forgive another. Transform that inner grievance. Do it now. You don't need to forgive the act, but there's power in forgiving the person. You no longer need to carry it with you. Perhaps there is a person from your past with whom you should reconnect. You know what you need to do. This is the time to do it. The journey. Write down the answers to these questions. If there was an area of your life to which I need to bring peace, what might it be? What's the first step that I need to take towards resolving a rift with another or feeling unfinished regarding a person or situation? Then take action. Freeing yourself. How do you free yourself in the deepest sense? You free yourself by finding yourself. Night. Be brave and be honest. So really stand in your power. Be brave. Don't let anybody knock you off of your throne. You just keep moving forward and be honest. Always be honest about everything that you do in life. Be honest about what has been happening. Be honest with people. If they're getting on your fucking nerves, tell them, you know, I mean, just be really brave not to let other people push you around, not to let situations, you know, drag you down too far. You really need to be this powerful knight and really stand in your power and just be honest with yourself and with others. Boxer, lay down. I'm sorry, hold on. Okay, we have the transformation card. You have transformed so much that you hardly even recognize yourself. Or you are in the process of transforming. Again, you are transforming into that beautiful butterfly that you've seen on the uh, Courage card. Your, your deceased loved ones want you to really recognize and understand how much you truly have changed. Really how much you have grown and transformed into a very loving, beautiful, kind person. Not saying that you weren't like that before. Because I truly do believe that you were. But I think that you really deal with situations a lot more clearer. Like having a clear mind. And really with an unconditional heart. And that's beautiful. We care about you. We want you to take care of yourself. So if you're not taking care of yourself properly. Your deceased loved ones are wanting you to really um, pay attention to that. To really make sure that you're eating properly. You're sleeping properly. If you are, you know, struggling with any type of depression, anything like that, that you're really talking to somebody, even if it's not a healthcare provider, find somebody to talk to. Make sure that you're exercising, um, that you're really just allowing yourself to feel good. If you need to eat, you know, more greens, eat more greens, but they want you to take care of yourself in every single way. If you have anything like bad habits, like smoking or anything like that, I'm hearing that they're concerned about that. Um, so maybe you need to cut down or try and quit if that's possible. It was my time to go. I know that it feels like a dream you can't wake up from. But please be reassured that every soul comes into the world at a precise time. And also ex ex ugh, exits at the time it was meant to for its own growth. When I first came here, it all just seemed too amazing to believe. But now I see that there is a larger force and an incredible order to everything in the universe. Every soul has a cosmic plan it must follow. What you might perceive as an accident is merely a step in the cosmic dance. We have Neptune dreams. Imagination, memories, the subconscious, self-sacrifice, ideals, universal love, visions, meditation, spirituality, compassion, empathy, fantasies, escapism, the ether, enchantment, confusion, veils, and magic. This is a sign of Pisces. Love is never vain. When you finally see what this whole time-space thing is all about, 
you're going to laugh, you're going to cry, and you're going to be so, 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 so happy you loved as much as you did, dotingly, the universe. We have dark moon in the dark of your heart lies new breath waiting for you to release its ghosts. In the mystical world, the dark moon is a time of setting intentions and welcoming new beginnings. It is the beginning of the moon cycle and represents a chan chance to start afresh. With new and renewed energy, the dark moon is like the last stretch of darkness before the rise of the dawn, or in this case, the moon. It re represents hope, better days to come, and an easier road to travel. This period supports visualizing and is a great time to expand your mind. Use this time to dream without thinking about the li limitations of life. What do you want to create in your life? What goals do you want to manifest? Think the bigger, the better. Think as if you had a magic wand that would grant you every wish, no matter the cost or energy required. If you are holding the dark moon card now, that there is always a chance to start again. Your situation may seem like the end of the road, but it is not, especially for those who know the power of spirit. You must have hope even when things seem too hard to bear. There is always a new moon just a few weeks away, and there will always be a new opportunity waiting for you as well. It may not come as quickly as you like, but hope is the powerful force and will set things in motion for you. We have new career. I feel that you're going to, to retire or quit a job that you're doing now. And I think that you are going to transform into this beautiful butterfly, which is going to create a new career. Or somebody is coming into your life to offer you a new career. To really um, be able to use your talents to really um, be able to use your voice to help other people, I'm hearing. Just to really embrace the world with your presence and really shine and show people exactly who you are and what you were meant to come here for. What your purpose here on life is. And I think that is really beautiful. And your, your deceased loved ones really want you to pay attention because you are about to shine brightly. And you are transforming into this beautiful butterfly even if you do not see it at this time. And I'm sorry, I'm having trouble talking. It's got to be the retrograde. Or maybe one of you need to clear your throat chakra so you're able to speak out about things. We have spirit of the earth. Your native spirits want you to know in the spirit of, of earth represents your physical self and your physical surroundings. It's okay to make plans for the future, but make sure that you also embrace and appreciate the present. You're deeply and profoundly loved and supported at all times, no matter what's occurring in your life. Trust that all your needs are being met. Take time to create space in your home where you feel absolutely at peace. And in doing so, you create a template for peace in all areas of your life. Feel the solid, solitude, solitaire, feel the power, excuse me, of the earth beneath you. This is in your core. Just as grass pushes up out of the moist ground, know that fresh new shouts of growth, shouts of growth are similarly taking place within you right now. You are grounded, prosperous, and strong. The journey, all the solid forms around you, including your body, are a part of the physical realm. Notice how you relate to and identify with the physical universe around you. By doing this, you are activating the spirit of earth within you. Let the reality of your relationship with the earth fill your consciousness. Fill it in every pore of your being. Let yourself merge with its energy. Imagine how it would feel to be a rolling hill, a great mountain, or a deep canyon. Imagine yourself lying in the meadow of wildflowers high in the mountains. Visualize the roots of the trees 
extending deep into the soil, reaching down toward the center of the earth. Dearest you, we need you to know that you can change things for you and for everyone and make things right. It's never too late. Forgiveness is about releasing yourself from the burden of an old story, one in which you were a victim of someone else's actions or your own. You don't need to carry this around. You can set yourself free. Even advocating for good because of this experience requires your forgiveness to be effective. Forgiveness is never about condoning things that were done. It's about letting yourself off the hook for carrying that burden. Resentment and hurt are like viruses that spread to others. And that is the opposite of what you really desire, right? Imagine what your life would be like without the burdens that you carry when you do not forgive. You can do it. Everyone over here believes in you and adores you. Freeing yourself. That which is blocked and buried within you forms the root of fear. Fear is caused by blockages in your energy. So free yourself from that. We have guardian angel. You are not alone. You need to be watching for the signs that your angels are sending you. If it's a feather, if it's a penny, if it is birds chirping, if it's somebody coming into your life. Your deceased loved ones are always sending you signs that they're there with you to let you know that you are never alone in any situation or at any time. You have really matured. Maturity. You have really stepped into being a very mature person. And your your angels, your guides, your ancestors, source himself are, are noticing how much you are, how much maturity you have gained throughout whatever you have gone through in your life. Until, you know, from being a child up to this point. Maturity is very important so we know how to deal with situations without, you know, overreacting. Um, without losing our tempers. Without saying things that we don't want to say. Or, you know, like today I was driving and I, and I did cut this girl off and I felt really bad. So she proceeds to pull up next to me and spit towards my car. I mean, I thought, well, really? But back in the day, somebody would have done that, man, I would have pulled over and whooped her ass. I mean, I would have just been pissed off. And it kind of made me giggle because I just thought, you know, when we treat other people like that, we receive that karma. So more than likely, somebody will probably spit on her or her vehicle. We're helping to bring a little luck your way. You deserve it. So really have faith that they are bringing the luck your way, which I do feel in this reading anyways. Again, I think that you have been on this powerful journey, this powerful awakening, this powerful transformation, and luck hasn't been on your side for a long time, and your ancestors, your guides, your angels, source himself, are all bringing you luck. And, you know, your deceased loved ones are really working hard to help you change and get the things that you do deserve. I was met by so many loving people. I want you to put your mind at rest. I did not die alone. None of us ever comes into the earth world or ever enters into heaven alone. I was met by all of our loving relatives, friends, and even souls I did not expect. I was greeted so beautifully by the magnificent angels, teachers, and spirit guides who gently escorted me into the colorful heavenly life. It is also so it is all so splendid and so real. I cannot express to you the amount of love I was welcomed with. It feels so natural to be loved. I think I forgot that when I was living on earth. When I came here, it was a wonderful reunion. It is a place where you see the best in everyone, and they also show you the best in yourself. It is indeed heaven. And the last card I have today is Mercury Communication. Words, thoughts, analyzes, information, learning, trade, ideas, smarts, reporting, awareness, vision, lens, perception, curiosity, narrative, muse, and wonder. This is a sign of Gemini and Virgo. With that being said, those are the messages I have for you today from your deceased loved ones. I want you to really pay attention. The forgiveness um, forgiveness has, was brought up a couple times in this reading, so I feel that not only myself, but all of you need to forgive yourselves or someone else. And your uh, deceased loved ones really want you to try and work on that because they want you to be free of that burden. 
Everyone have a beautiful, loving day. Thank you again for watching my channel. I'm so very grateful for each and every one of you. I love you all so dearly. Please have a beautiful, loving day. And please do something kind for someone else today. Lots of love.